Shalom Aleichem. I want to give a few minutes because I saw something in the Baratorim of this week's parasha, parasha Pikudei. This is something that I had to share, had to give off, had to put on a shiur. We go to this week's parasha that's in Sefer Shemot, Exodus, Mem Chavbet, which is 40, 20, uh, actually it's, it's Mem Chav Aleph, it's 40, 21, and it says like this, it says, Vayave et Haaron el Mishkan vayasem et parochet המסך ויסך על ארון העדות כאשר ציווה השם את משה. He brought the ark into the tabernacle and placed the partition screen and he screened the ark of testimony as Hashem had commanded Moshe. So right away the Balaturim comes and explains what does this mean? כאשר ציווה השם את משה, as השם had commanded משה. We see this, we saw this, if you look at this parsha, we see it many, many times. It said it constantly, constantly, constantly. So right away the Balatum stops right here and explains. He says, I'll read it in the English. This phrase is repeated with regard to every item from the, made for the tabernacle. And this is contrast to what Moshe said. He says to, to Hashem, if you don't look, if you don't overlook at what Am Yisrael did with the Chet Egel, what does he say? Erase me now from your book that you, that you have written. This is in 32-32. Now contrary to what Moshe said, take me from away from your book, Hashem says, no, 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 you showed Mr. Nefesh, you said, listen, you're going to destroy them? Destroy me first. Take me out. I don't want to be part of it. I don't want to be the one that, okay, you know what? I'm safe, but they're doomed. No problem. I'm safe. Baruch Hashem. If they're going to be destroyed, I want to be destroyed the first one. The first one, destroy me. This is a leader. So Hashem says, not only I'm going to take away, uh, I'm not going to take away your name. I want to put your name so many times inside the Sefer Torah. So many times. I'm going to do the opposite of what you said. Because of you put that effort into it, you were Moser Nefesh. You won't lose out. And he explains, he says, the phrase, the phrases, Ka'ashel Tziva Hashem et Moshe, as Hashem commanded Moshe, and Kichol Ashel Tziva Hashem et Moshe, and everything that Hashem commanded Moshe, these two phrases, he says they are mentioned 18 times. Now if you look, I'll, so, I'll tell you the, the exact places that it says it. The first time it says it is the verse, uh, I'll tell you the, the verses and the, the, the chapters and the verses. 39, 1, 5, 7, 21, 26, 29, 30, uh, and 31. These are all the verse, uh, verses. Verses. Then chapter 40, verse 19, verse 21, verse 23, verse 25, verse 27, verse, uh, verse 29, and verse 32. These were 14 times that it says it, Ka'ashel tziva Hashem et Moshe. And also, the phrase, Kechol Ashel tziva Hashem et Moshe, or also, that that one's written the kechol asher tziva Hashem et Moshe is written three times. It's written two times. Is written uh, sorry. It's written once. This one, the specific one, and then also et kol. Et kol asher tziva Hashem et Moshe is written twice. It's written twice. So there is the three. There's the the the. 14 times how I said before, Kashir Tziva Hashem et Moshe, and also the three times. Now, the question is, where's the fourth one? So the fourth one, it says, Vaya'as Moshe Kechol Asher Tziva Hashem. 
השם ציווה אותו. This one is in 4016. Now these are 18. What's so special about 18? He says these are mentioned 18 times. In 18 times in this, this, this parasha, it's mentioned 18 times. Now what's 18? He comes and explains. And these correspond to the 18 verses our sages ordained uh, and this to these to these 18 verses our sages ordained 18 blessings of the amida of shmona isra and not only that he comes and says okay fine 18 shmona isra but if you look carefully and also if you go to mesef brachot you go to some mesef brachot you're going to see over there that they didn't they they didn't have only 18 at first they had 18 and then they came after and they added they added a 19th what's the 19th and there's also he says there's also one similar phrase kashel tsiva ashem ken asu this is the 19th verse as ashem command had commanded so had they done this is in 3943 And also, the Chachamim put it put an extra blessing in Shmona Esri, in the 18th, uh, 18 brachot, and this is the bracha the bracha against the kofrim, against the heretics, against the minim and the marshinim, the heretics and the informers, any people that try to take Am Yisrael, take the people of Am Yisrael, of uh, the people of Israel. and bring them to idolatry bring them to a different religion or even make them sin or even the malshinim the people that go to the government and tell tell and uh, and tell the tell the secular government about Jews this is also for them this this bracha so this is the 19th bracha Now if you look at it how the khakhamim they weren't just okay fine they're sm- smart okay that they made few blessings for us they were very they were so smart it's unbelievable he brings and he comes and says not only this he says there are actually 113 words in these phrases in all these phrases that you see there are 113 words We see over here the first time it says et kol asher tziva Hashem et Moshe seven words ka asher tziva Hashem et Moshe five words ka asher tziva Hashem et Moshe another five words ka asher tziva Hashem et Moshe another five words meaning okay I, I'm not going to go through the whole entire thing but you have I'm going to count it seven five 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 eight thirteen eight seven five 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 Five, 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 five. This all together, since we have all the phrases that how they have how is that? Kashet tiva Hashem et Moshe. All the other ones we have kechol Hashet tiva Hashem et Moshe. All these add up to a hundred and thirteen words. Now, if you look at the tefilot, at the amida that the chachamim that the, that our sages were ordained. For us to say every day, every day, three times a day at least, three times. Sometimes we have four. Even young people, we have five. But if you look at the tefilot, what do you see? The first bracha is Baruch Ata Hashem Magen Avraham. Second, Baruch Ata Hashem Mechayim Mitim. Baruch Ata Hashem Hakel Hakadosh. Baruch Ata Hashem Chonin Hadad. Baruch Ata Hashem Rotsa B'Tshuva. Baruch Ata Hashem Chanun Hamabel Isloach. ברוך אתה השם גואל ישראל, ברוך אתה השם רופא חולה עמו ישראל. ברוך אתה השם מברך השנים, ברוך אתה השם מקבץ נתחי עמו ישראל, ברוך אתה השם מלך אוהב צדקה ומשפט. ברוך אתה השם שובר אויבים במחנה הזדים. ברוך אתה השם משען ומפתח לצדיקים. ברוך אתה השם בונה ירושלים. ברוך אתה השם מצמיע קרן ישועה. ברוך אתה השם שומע תפילה. ברוך אתה השם מחזיר שכינתו לציון. ברוך אתה השם הטוב שמך ולכני להודות. ברוך אתה השם מברך את עמו ישראל בשלום. We see that all these words, the ending of these, all these 
tefillot, all these, the 18 brachot that we have in Shemun Ha'esri, we have, I'm going to count the words again. Bear with me. Five, 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 six, five, seven, five, seven, 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 six, five, six, five, six, eight, eight. All this adds together how much? 113. So the same way that it's not only correspond to how many brachot there are. There was 19, there was 19. Not only that, also each letter, each each word, each word corresponds to each word, to the numerical value of how much words there are in the tefillot, from the verses to the tefillot that we have, to the brachot. And to finish off, he actually puts one more thing. It doesn't only dazzle you right like this. This is the balatori. It doesn't only dazzle you with this, or this whole entire calculation. He also says, so says, and I'm going to end off with this. He says, the word lev, the word heart, is mentioned 113 times in the Chumash. Now this is talking about the lev, not a lev like whenever it's talking about the actual heart. Lev, whenever it's talking about the heart, that it's talking about the, the, the heart as, whenever it's talking about intellect. Like for example, I will guess it says, Lo you're not supposed to go after your heart. Don't go after your heart, don't go after your eyes. When you go after your heart, meaning don't go after things that you're not supposed to, meaning the desires that your heart desires. This is intellect. This is a part of intellect. So this is 113 times. And not only that, what do the Chachamim call Tfilah? What do the Chachamim call Shmona Esrei? Tfilah Shebalev. When someone has Tfilah Shebalev, he has the heart, and he has all the tefillot. He has all the words, everything, all the numeric value. This is tefillah shvalev, and this is what will get our tefillot answered.